I'm assuming I touch up my roots every like two or three weeks. Okay, so she's and you don't like to see any gray whatsoever. No. Okay, so we need to match her as close as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, jump in. I want to see you guys do a thorough consultation. Like set yourself up for success. Like she was a brand new guest who walked in the door. Come on, so you guys can do it. <laughs> Come on, we need that energy. So, uh, okay, I'm going to click here. But um, so you like you like the tone of your. Oh no, you want to change. You're thinking you want to get some red out. Do you want to? I think it's a little more? orangey to me. Like, orangey. I like. Um, um, I don't mind the lightness because it kind of looks balayage to me. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's a little bit orangey. Um, I'd rather have, um, more beigey looking or something. Okay, so if she says beigey, what would we tell her? Or... So with that being know. said, <laughs> color doesn't take color out with color, right? So if you want to be beigey, to me, in my mind, beigey would be more like, say, the top of this, right? Today, you're coming in, do you want to be a balayage client? Like, would you like us to balayage a few pieces on you? Or do you just want to get your roots touched up and us to maybe tone out some of the coppery that you see today? Um, yeah. Tone out. Tone out. Yeah, tone it out. Okay, so now for your next visit, if you want to be a little more balayage, I'd like you to come in with straight hair, right? If you can't do that, we'll shampoo you, blow you dry straight. That way we can get your root color on and re balayage some pieces and then glaze you different so that your tongue would look more beigey. Excellent. Cool? I like it. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did we have an honest consultation yes. with her? Yeah. Yes. Like she doesn't want to be here all day today, right? Yeah. So what do we do? What can we give her to make this the best situation as possible so she gets out on time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to do a root touch up and we're going to glaze her ends and we're going to counteract some of this she sees it copper. So with Shades EQ, we know we can only go darker, right? Mm -hmm. We deposit color. So we're probably, what tone would you like to see it? A little more brownie? Do you want it to have a little more red? I don't really like, I don't really like real red, violet, orange. I like, like a... A more of a neutral? Yes. Okay, so let's do this. Let's brown her out a little bit. That way when she comes in for her next visit, she can have a little more balayage pieces. Cool. Okay. So we already decided what level she was, right? Yes. Now, which color line should we use on her? Ultra rich. Ultra rich. Okay. Do you think we should do straight 3NN? I think we could if I don't see. We wouldn't be going out that far, so I don't think it would matter and it would cover the gray. Okay, perfect. High five. Now, if she sat down and said, My highlights, I really like that I see a little brownie copper in them. I would love you guys to give me a formula that would make her roots match her ends. Do it as a group. So. Come on over. We know we have to have three NN, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So what could we add to that? Four UC. High five, woo! And can I tell you honestly, we have so many clients that their formula is 4 and then with a little 4 BC, 3 and then with yeah. a little 4 BC. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's, it's like so pretty. Chocolatey. Actually, that was my root color until I went green for symposium and then color. came back. Oh, it's so bad. I like it. I, I was just looking at it thinking I, I love it. Oh, oh, my eyes are sweet. My, my roots are like hot, but um, I, put, I use the new um, City Beats. Yeah. So I bleached it out and I was dark, like a level three, and then everything was green for symposium. The day I got back, I went and had back surgery. So I got home and I looked at myself in the mirror, pale as a ghost, for 10 days in sweats at home. And I was like, this hair does not match this. Covered it all up. So well, it's, really, it's really like just it. shades. Oh, you're sweet. No, I'm serious. I, I was too. thinking. Yeah. I was oh, well, thanks. But 4NN and 4BC was like my formula for the last year, and then I just highlight it. But that is honestly on dark hair like hers. It's one of our number one formulas. I so I was too. using the chromatics, uh, 3NW with a little bit of um, 4GM, just a smidge of the 4GM. So I think. I think that this would give you. I feel like that may be a little bit warm. 
I like the finish better of ultra rich on your texture of hair. Yeah, no, I'm excited to try this. Yeah. I'm excited. So, but for her, would you do a three in and, or would you do, you'd still go the three, right? I and honestly four, think, I do? think the four for 35 minutes would be fine, minutes. but I noticed you guys in the back have a three and a five. So let's make oh. a four. Okay. Okay. okay? And if it was me covering her, I would probably do like an ounce of four and end with just a little bit of three and end because she's already a little bit warmer. Just so if I choose down. the three, it's too dark. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't want you to look blacky, no. right? So I like to go a little more four because it's a heavier dye load. So that's the other thing we have to talk about. When we use chromatics, it is heavier, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. so sometimes people with fine hair. Like, I look at her and I think she, because you have gray, correct? Yeah. I would think of her, because she's so warm, she would be a beyond cover line. Because it's already warm. I don't have to add anything to it. See, so. I haven't done anything with it because I don't know what to do with it. And I was waiting because I, I knew we were going to do this. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And so I haven't put anything in it yet. That's why. Yeah. Like, I think if she came in and sat in the salon, she could be a straight 5NW in beyond cover with a little bit of three because there's no four mm -hmm. um and then another formula that would be beautiful because she has warmth right here and she is fine i don't necessarily well i probably do need to keep going because i can't really see anything on my yeah i feel in your eyes mm -hmm. but i think she could do a 3m or a 3n with the 4gm at her roots Mm -hmm. So you just really have to think about and then shades on the rest. Mm -hmm. I would shades the rest. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I was thinking about doing it this mm -hmm. afternoon after we were done, but I didn't want to touch it because I wasn't sure I'm like stuck to. No, I think this would be great. Let's get started on yours, okay. Okay. and you guys cool. have a formula to think about for her. Now, can I stop you one more time? Because I really want your wheels to be spinning, and you to have some good ideas for when a client comes in. I'm gonna have you jump out of the chair really quick. I'm gonna have you sit down. Okay, so she's a blonde, right? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, how's it going? Hi. And this is not my hair down there, so. Oh, this is not my hair down there. This is my tail or extensions. Yeah. Okay, so um, can we take it out? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you take it out. So, are you a foil? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever thought about balayaging? Um, yeah. What, what scares you about it? Just because I like to be a really cool blonde for the most part. Okay. Just a couple warm pieces in it. So when we look at her, is she cool? Mm, not too not much. Really. No. She's pretty warm down here, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And how come she gets that way? Because. Foil. Foil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over and over and over. Mm -hmm. So I want to give you guys the most for your money while I'm here today. So if she sat in my chair, the first thing that I'd say to her is, what tone do you want to be? And I heard her say she wanted to be mainly cool, right? A cool yeah. blonde yeah. with a little bit of warm pieces. Yeah. Then I'd say, how often do you want to get your hair done? Every couple of months. Okay, so by I you. I used to do it once a month, so. Okay, so I stretch it out. if you could stretch it out, may I make a suggestion to yes. you? I think it'd be great if we gave you a little root. Yes. Mm -hmm. It would be so <laughs> uncomfortable and weird for you to feel. Like you're a bob, <laughs> you're going to feel weird. Yeah. Every time we try something new, it feels a little odd, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to try it for a little bit to see if we like it. You're a blonde, you want to stay looking blonde. Mm -hmm. If I gave you a shadow at your root and extended out your shadow mm -hmm. but left you really blonde through here, yeah. you would actually feel blonder and you would look cooler because I gave you an ashier shadow on top. Right? So we can kind of bounce off of each other. Yes. Yep, because think about it. Blonde doesn't look blonde against blonde, right? It's yeah. white on white on white. What is going to make blonde look blonder? It needs a what? Some Something That's to reflect off of, okay. right? Yeah. So then I'd pull up my phone, and I would type in balayage, and I'd show her a whole bunch of images. Or how many of you have um, the Red Can Style app on your phone? Mm -hmm. You can show her images from there. How many of you use Pinterest? All of them. You can make your own account that you can be showing your clients. Give them an idea, because honestly, if you sat in my chair, I would be so bored doing your hair. Super <laughs> bored. If you came in and gave me a new project, yeah. I'd be excited. I'd set you up for how it's going to go by showing you images, mm -hmm. but I think you would get more of the end result that you're looking for just by changing this up just a little bit. 
So, so let's talk let about. Let me ask you. Yeah. yeah. What you would use? What would, would you, you use? Go to the. Just I just want to before you tell me the answer. <laughs> I just want to see if I'm thinking the correct way. So the um, let me see what they're called. Um, there's a cool and a face breaker. Clear. Yes. High five. Okay. Okay. So for her to start. That's one way to do it. That's an easy way to do it, and it might be the best way to transition her from a foil. Okay. I love it. Do you have those? Yeah. Yay! Mm -hmm. Okay. So for her, since we're not working on her today, whoever wants to take her on to start her, I would base break her with the what? Cool. cool. What do we know about the base breakers? They do what? Ten minutes. They break one level. One level. They can go a little, a little longer more. than ten minutes because how many of you can actually? Yeah. Okay. So by doing that. We